Question 5. Which of the following statements is consistent with the theory of liquidity preference? A. When the Federal Reserve Board of Governors increases the money supply faster than usual, interest rates will fall. B. When the Federal Reserve Board of Governors increases the money supply faster than usual, interest rates will rise. C. When the Federal Reserve Board of Governors increases the money supply faster than usual, interest rates don't change in the short run, but we will get, we will get substantial inflation. D. When the Federal Reserve Board of Governor increases the money supply faster than usual, interest rates don't change in the short run, but the cost of living is likely to fall. Or E. None of the above statements are correct. One of the first things that comes to my mind when, what should come to your mind when you deal with this problem is you draw a graph. So in this case, you want to draw a graph of the money supply. So you have interest rates to the left and on the y-axis and x-axis is going to be the quantity of money. Now remember that money supply is always going to be a vertical line. And the demand, money demand, or the quantity, the demand for money is always going to be a downward sloping demand curve. Now in this case, the Federal Reserve Board has adopted an expansionary monetary policy. Back from the question, it says that which of the following statements is consistent. Now, while all these questions have the similar beginnings about how the Federal Reserve Board increases the money supply faster than usual, you want to take a look at the ending statements. Now, when this money supply increases, that means that the money supply will shift to the right. Now, looking back at the money supply graph that I have, it shows the su money supply shifting to the right. And when the money supply shifts to the right, this causes the interest rates to decrease because the new the new money supply is in equilibrium with the money demanded at this at, at this new point. That's I asterisk. If you can look at that, if you guys can see the I asterisk, that shows the new equilibrium of interest rates and money supply. Now with this new equilibrium, it shows that the interest rates has fallen because of a shift of the money supply. Therefore, the correct answer is A, which is when the Federal Reserve Board of Governors increases the money supply faster than usual, interest rates will rise. It, interest rates will fall, my bad. Yeah, interest rates will fall, it will not rise. And conversely, if the Federal Reserve Board adopted a contractionary monetary policy, then the money supply will shift to the left, thus increasing interest rates. Thus increasing the interest rates that businesses or any party that wants to borrow money. So A is the correct answer.